So for language teaching, standard-based approach. Standard-based approach is the norms that teachers must, be full, must follow and they are usually set by the policy makers um, or determined by the policy maker. The goal of them is to ensure acquired knowledge and skills that are deemed to be essential in the policy maker and in the higher education in career life. So in the positive things and it ensures vocational economic success for individuals and nation and it is easy to assist to at the same time provide equality because everyone has the same syllables. Uh, the negative things and her teaching on the tests, uh, yani you have short memory, you just like um, uh, read or uh, interested in things in order to pass the tests and that's it. And the other thing is that they are enforced by policy makers. So they impose certain ideology uh, that serves their agenda. And uh, uh, it leads to less teachers and uh, students' autonomy and they are creative. So it imposes certain things. In uh, the quality curriculum, if you are interested to create a quality curriculum, the curriculum is flexible and able to change. It empowers uh, teachers. Um, so it's updated. It empowers also uh, students. So it's going to empower them. Uh, it must be updated. It must be adequate to the community need and to the students need at the same time. Or updated every single time. Let's share less metal and teachers. So we do one project based learning a lot. Which is wrong. And now we put on them one little outfit. Okay. What we do is we learn how to make time management. So basically, teachers so me a focus you on input and output what is learned, machine input only. So, for example, they do connections. For example, learners do connection with other subject area to acquire information, or at the same time, to use through English for for their own purpose. Meaning, they know why why they learn something, not just like they're learning. That's it. Therefore, the curriculum has to foster a connection with their community as well, because you can be a better citizen. But at the same time, communication skills are really important to know how to defend um, their argument or how to communicate purposefully. Well, at the same time, we have ability to think, build problem solving, critical, um, imagine places, times. For the communicative approach, it's an approach of teaching a second language or a foreign language. Uh, it's learner-centered approach. Here, uh, task-based learning. It's a communicative approach. So, if a learner are involved in real uh, communication, so teachers uh, must uh, make sure that they learn appropriately a language in a social context, and it's uh, uh, the culture as well of the target language. Arabic teachers uh, use matanan exchange information uh, matanan because the meaning is more important than the form. Okay, dear matanan real communication, how does job interview, how solving a problem, how role play debates, uh, practicing question form. So we sit down and get the maximum information to come and present it. So it focuses more on the communication. Teacher job key can help with the facilitation, and then at the same time, um, learners gain confident and using the target language. So, um, but the teachers enable learners to communicate by the target language, or if they have a manner, for example, they don't speak English, they don't speak English. Learners gain confidence in the class, when they speak by the target language, it and they 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 مهم كتعاونهم كيفاش describing expressing likes ولا preference requesting apologizing هادشي كامل كتعلمو ليهم هاد communicative approach كيفاش تخدم هاديك language ديالك في واحد ال communicative context مع الناس هادشي علاش learners they interact with each other and groups or pairs اختلاف ديال هاد communicative approach مع direct method انه ال communicative approach مثلا focus on function يعني كنخدموها for daily life conversation alors que direct method it's no programmatic مافيهاش programmatic and we should have a communicative approach or we have focus on pronunciation plus teacher has to be native like accent in terms of communicative competence we have to be able 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 to
تكون فيها استراتيجيك كومبيتنس اللي هي الكاباسيتي تو نو هاو تو يوز تايم عرفتي ش تقول شي حاجه كيفاش تسلك راسك استراتيجيك كومبيتنس ديسكيرسيف كومبيتنس اللي هي اورجنايزينغ كوهيرنت ديسكورس كيفاش تدوي يعني بواحد الطريقه كوهيرنت كوهيجن وسوسيو لينغويستيك كومبيتنس اللي هي كيفاش تدوي ابروبريتلي بدون ما حد كونت It's more likely that the approach and the school for business field. You want to learn business communication? I will teach you only business communication. We have to talk about the things that are related to culture and linguistics. بالنسبة ال project based learning project based learning is a teaching method in which students gain knowledge and skills by working on a team. Okay, in a specific period of time to respond to a complex question, problem, issue, or challenge. من بين الحوايج اللي نقدر نديرو while doing this is for example designing an app, creating a short video, addressing authority to stop violence against children in schools, so like protecting children from violence everywhere and where. مثلا it might be solve an environmental problem, it might be how to detect fake news through your projects and really really good to how to detect fake news um anything of the main advantage uh, of this uh, project based learning and uh, it's a learned centered approach uh, that is students they got to conceptualize knowledge they conceptualize it they form ideas and theories in their brain and they got to know how to work each other with each other how to manage their projects and now they got to have the soft skills problem solving uh, team working they improve their attitude toward learning learning is um, something boring how about they create and change they produce original work. Moreover, it boosts boosts their self-esteem or their collaborative learning. بالنسبة لي زاد بنتج ديال هاد البروجيك بيس لوين ان اتس ديفيكول تو بي اسست ان جريديد و ان هاد بريبير ان بريبير ناس ديال تيتشرز و ستودين كاش بلاي ا بيج رول و تايم كونسومين بيكوز دي نيد تو توك دي نيد تو تو ميك سو اتس اي تيكس تايم اتس ا لونغ بيريود اوف تايم Uh, besides, it needs training. Teachers need training to be able to do it effectively. So, task-based learning. Task-based learning is an approach of learning and, and teaching language, where of language learning and teaching, where learners are given interactive tasks to complete. So, in order for them to be theoretically interactive, there they need to communicate. And once the task is completed, then the teachers discuss what the, the language used and and see. واحد الحاجة اللي شي شو دو إت أس وول إز هي هي وولز أس أ مونيتور هي سيركليت إز إن كلاس سي دي ستودنتس ميستيك أكتيفلي بي أتنشن تو وات دي ساي ريبورت رياليستيك أرغيمنت تو سلوشنز رايت إن دي بورد نيو فوكابلوري هاد شي كامل كيديرو بحال لي عطانا إكزامبل ديال فوبيا اللي كنا درنا في الكلاس واحد الحاجة انه the goal of this uh, of this study task based learning and how it can be develop students confident in speaking or develop their writing skills even it generate opportunities to learners um, to experience and activate as much language as possible and just they communicate with each other in order to create write a project task based learning uh, they make um, every student actively in the class Preferably, had tasks are hidden to come in form of writing exercise. But then they communicate and then they write and they have the language and then they they present it like this. They will increase both writing and spoken. You know, the hard are preferably to choose authentic input and task which is relevant to the students. Well, they might choose things from their own choice. Hello, then we have the phobia, but they will choose the phobia from our own choice. Another example would be. Environment, مثلا, and then they choose the environmental problem from their own choice that they want to solve, and then they work on it. بالنسبة لنا another example would be use interactive dialogues, مثلا to communicate. Students make مثلا يقولون دير واحد reservation at a hotel, and then they they suppose ولا how to order food for a restaurant. مهم they suppose to to talk together and they do واحد dialog. Then they choose to negotiate. They they choose vocabulary, discuss various options for completing the task, 
or then they give the product in word of dialogue. We present you. You need to ask the receptions. مهم. أول حاجة بالنسبة لهذا الشيء كتقول هي ال pre task. Pre task هي ال ال introduction, the instructions اللي كيعطيهم professor the explaining nation ديال هذا الطبق. بالنسبة لل task هي ال planning, doing, reporting ideas باش كي دو students يخدموا. وكاين عندنا ال post task ولا ال review اللي هي ال analysis presentation ولا ال practice و discussion. هذاك ال products في الآخر باش كيقدموه للstudent. So, في ثلاثة ديال ديال المراحل ديال الفيسز بري تاسك تاسك و ريفيو بوست تاسك مهم بالنسبة فاش كيديرو هداك الدايالوج كيكون تيتشرز رايت ذا سنتنسز بروفايدد باي ستودنتس هداك الشي اللي دارو كيكتبو اند ذن هي هايلايت ولا ديسكاس ذا نيسيسري لانجويج يوز فور ميكينغ ريزيرفيشن و هكا ستودنتس لايك They got to know them, and then he might add new vocabulary or sentences for making reservation. So, uh, for this method, generally, teachers and learners are like uh, partners. They, they are learning and teaching is not two separate entities, but they are like collaborative work. Or at the same time, teachers is no longer passive, you know, of implementing the syllabus, but he, but he's active as well.